Hey everybody, it's so great to see you. Look right over here at the screen. Oh wait, can you, can you not see me? Hold on. Whoa. Hey. Hey everybody. Looks like you guys are ready, so make sure you guys are sitting still and your listening ears are on. Mine kind of hurt after that. But anyway, today we are going to dive in and we're going to we're going to talk about how we are in a spiritual battle against the devil. Now, Ephesians 6:11 says, "Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes." So you might be like, "Hey, weird Ant-Man creature guy, how do I do that?" We'll start by saying today's bottom line. It's protect your mind. So let's say it on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Protect your mind. So how are we going to do this? Let's find out. Now, of course, you can't go through your entire life wearing a helmet every day. I mean, unless you're me, superhero, Ant-Man. My helmet does some pretty amazing things, like it size matches when pin particles are detected, which means I can shrink. I can communicate with an array of communication devices. I can even control the ants. Sounds like an amazing helmet, right? But the average everyday person probably isn't wearing a super cool helmet, right? No, that would be hot and sweaty. I can't even tell you the issues I have. So when, when we, kids wear a helmet, when, when do we do that? Riding a bike, playing a sport, you know, things like that. So why do we wear helmets? To protect our brain. It sends messages to every part of our body. Your brain is a very, very important and we just wouldn't be the same without it functioning correctly. So just like our physical brain tells our body what to do, our thoughts can lead us in our lives. So let's dig a little deeper here. Your thoughts can often lead you. For example, have you ever dreamed something at night and you wake up and you ask yourself, did that really happen? Or you get some thought in your head and it just won't go away? Sometimes when I have a big competition coming up or a big test, I'll think I'm not smart enough or, or, or not good enough. And sometimes my thoughts can be sad and it's hard to snap out of them. In these moments, it can seem like your thoughts are in control. And that's why we got to protect our minds. So everyone, let's say that bottom line again on the count of three, protect your minds. Ready? One, two, three, protect your mind. Let's do it again. I think you guys can do a little bit louder than that. Ready? One, two, three. Protect your mind. That was really, really good. Now, are you wondering how? How, how, how do we protect our mind? Well, God can help us with that. You see, you know that bad, when bad thoughts, they're coming from the devil. And last time we talked about how we're in a spiritual battle against the devil and how God gave us armor to protect us from his evil ways. So let's look at what the Bible says in Ephesians 6, 14 to 17. It says, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up your shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. That's a good, good thing to have. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And today we are talking about the helmet of salvation. Now, what does salvation mean? Salvation means to be saved or, or rescued. And when Jesus came into our world and died on the cross, he made salvation available to all of us. He died so that we can be forgiven and be saved. Salvation is a free gift that only Jesus can give us. See, the devil, he doesn't like that. And he wants us to believe that we've earned salvation through what we've done. But he wants us to forget the truth about Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross. He likes to mess with our minds and trick us. That's why we need our helmet of salvation. See, the helmet of salvation helps us to protect our mind. So I want you to look at your neighbor and tell them to protect their mind. Protect your mind on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Protect your mind. Each day, pray and ask God to keep your thoughts pure. You see, the Bible talks about thinking on things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. So the Bible is saying there in the book of Philippians that we got to think about good things. Well, that's the opposite of the thoughts that the devil is trying to attack us with. 
Actually, it doesn't always feel like an attack. See, sometimes the devil can be sneaky. It could sound more like, I know my mom said not to play this video game, but she is in the other room and she won't know. It could also be a little bit sneaky in this way. Sometimes you might tell a lie, even though it's a super teeny, barely, little, like almost barely even a lie type of lie. And then the next time you tell an even worse lie, and before you know it, it gets foggy and you're just lying all the time. We can actually believe that these lies become true. We need the helmet of salvation to keep our thoughts straight. There are two kinds of thoughts, those that lead us away from God and those that can bring us closer to him. We need to filter out the thoughts, those thoughts, and think about the ones that are pure and good and what is right. We have to, we have the helmet of salvation to help. So thanks for joining me today to learn about one sweet piece of armor. Pachow!